sunny and warm this week. It's hard to complain about the weather. It's been hard to complain about the weather really all summer long. We had a terrific summer, but we are getting into that fall pattern with the uh, autumnal weather that we hope to expect out of the fall run. I'm Jim Hutchinson, New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition of the Fishman Magazine. I say that because we're looking at east-northeast winds all week long, heavy surf, heavy inshore seas, heavy offshore, impossible to get out offshore this week, but it's what we expect. It's sort of like what was displayed on the September edition cover of the Fisherman Magazine. Angler Jimmy Bonanno is standing on the Shark River Inlet rocks, looking dead on into the wind and waves. Nick Vespi did a great job of capturing that essence of surf casting in the fall that we've come to expect with that type of northeast wind. And with that this week, it brings to mind that 33 years ago this week, we had the same weather pattern. 33 years ago, Al McReynolds standing on the Vermont Avenue jetty, September 1st, 1982, northeast storm throwing a rebel wind cheater, caught that 78 and a half pound striped bass, a long standing world record fish that was only shattered in the last couple of years by Greg Meyerson up in Connecticut. So yeah, we love that northeast that comes through in the fall, especially when it pushes those mullet, those peanut bunker in close. It makes it a little bit more treacherous and it makes it a little bit difficult to fish this week, but let's see if we can't shake something out. If you're up on the surf front, for example, it's gonna take you eight to 10 ounces maybe to hold your bait on the bottom, but if you're out there in the surf on the open beaches this week, find some white water, this is where a good opportunity to throw bucktails comes into play. Bucktails tipped with a little Uncle Josh's pork rind on the tip, on that hook, throwing that into the heavy white water if you're trying to control a, a sinker on the bottom, it's gonna sweep along the beach. But that bucktail, you get that sweep, you get a little bit of action, it's a good opportunity. Try to throw a bucktail into the wash. Um, I had my first fish of the season on Sunday, a little bit before the blow. Uh, <laughs> Al had 78 and a half, mine was more like seven and a half pounds. But the fish are there, right before the storm, we had a couple of blitzes that we uh, were reporting on. In this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine, Nick Konicheski's Beach Talk Report showed that we had some of those fish in the wash. They're feeding on mullet. If you get the opportunity after the storm, when the water cleans up a little bit more, you see the mullet in the wash, metal lips, reel them all the way into your feet. That's what I had a little bit of luck on. Also, the little neck poppers, the mullet imitations. As long as we have that mullet and that bait, the peanut bunker in the wash, you have a good opportunity to throw those imitations. I was also out in the beach, Sandy Hook, on Friday morning, right before the uh, Jersey Boat Expo. Thought maybe I could stumble into a couple of false albacore. Lots of bait, had some success with a bunch of bluefish, cocktail blues, as many as you wanted. That's a good, good sign coming up, and I know some false albacore have been reported, have been reported landed. Kyle Gronikowski found them sun up. Uh, earlier this week on the beaches of Long Beach Island and he uh, checked in to Fisherman's Headquarters with that throwing those deadly dicks. Any of those imitations, those deadly dicks, um, Stanley Gola and SNS Bucktails, they have a great imitation of slim bait, the slim waves or some fast retrieve plastics. Sometimes a bucktail will get them. Wily, wily fish and when they're on the bait they're very line shy if you get the fluorocarbon but give it a shot. Go looking for those bait blow-ups in the wash particularly after this northeast storm. I've never really heard of any luck in a northeast storm. Uh, before the blow this week, Captain Alex Majewski of Lighthouse Sport Fishing was out about a mile east of Barnegat Inlet, and he was trolling Clark Spoons, had the Spanish mackerel. Good time of year, mile, two miles off the beach when you get out there again. Again, nobody's getting out there this weekend, but after the blow, get out, troll the Clark Spoons. You get the Spanish mackerel, you get the bonita. You also get those false albacore. Great time of year to be out. Uh, looking for those fish. The weather is making it rather tough for the fluking um, and especially, you know, even if we had another week to go, our New Jersey fluke season comes to an end on September 26th, so I don't expect any more weigh-ins this week. But even if we did have another week, usually what happens is after a blow like this that we've got, the fish, those flukes start to move towards uh, the canyons and they go to their winter ground. So we, I think that even if we had another week, we wouldn't have much action. Paul Rossi was out just before the blow. He was out with Bruce Henderson, uh, caught a nine pounder in Sandy Hook Channel. We were hoping to find a couple of fish in there this week, but again, it's gonna be real tough conditions. Um, 
Now we can turn our attention to bluefish though. We do have some good reports. We had a report of a 24 pounder last week. I talked to guys over the weekend uh, who stopped to see us in Lakewood at the Boat Expo. They said they found fish in the upper teens and 20 pounders at the Shrewsbury Rocks. We had that same report this week in the Fisherman Magazine. And I expect, again, the eternal optimist I am, but I think we're gonna have a good bluefish run along the fall beaches uh, along the Jersey Shore. Linda DeVoli had a nine pounder this week. She caught that at the south end of Brigantine, weighted in at Riptide Bait and Tackle. Uh, the folks at Riptide actually reported during the blow this week, a couple of guys got out. One in particular was plugging up some stripers in that crazy water. So yeah, the fish are there and this northeast wind bodes well for the rest of the season and perhaps even this weekend too. Tuna were left biting before the blow. Tony Locantori of Denville was out on a Tuesday trip with the Jenny Lee. They had three dozen mahi, four yellowfin, and this nice uh, longfin tuna. Also, the Jamaica and some of the other party boats have been sailing offshore for tuna. I don't expect them to be sailing this week. Check, the, uh, check their calendars, but I don't think many party boats are gone because of this heave. But Mike Young was out on the Jamaica uh, this week, had a 215-pound um, big-eye tuna. He caught that on a size 10 Maxell reel. Again, not a lot of boats sailing for tuna, but as soon as this blow comes through and passes, check yourself into the party boats because they will be sailing offshore. Great opportunity to get onto those tuna offshore. My best bet for this weekend, this comes from Tom Pagliaroli, our Central Jersey reporter who loves the Sweetwater. It's a good opportunity for you to turn your attentions a little farther west. Uh, perhaps try the Flatbrook out. Good opportunity to get the Flatbrook, get to some of those streams and lakes so you don't get out freshwater fishing much. If you got the heave going on the uh, onshore, uh, you know, the coastal grounds, turn your attentions to, uh, to maybe some trout, uh, perhaps some largemouth or even the pickerel in the Pine Barrens. Don't forget the uh, fall stocking at those streams and especially the north the Monmouth County, the Ocean County, and farther north, northwest, the stocking starts on October 13th. Um let me give you a couple of other opportunities for this weekend. If you end up not wetting a line, there are other great opportunities for you. Grady White Days on Saturday and Sunday, September 26th and 27th. That's over at Comstock Yacht Sales in Brick. If you want to get yourself out on a Grady White and cruise around, uh, it's a good opportunity. It's an inshore boat show. Go visit Comstock's this weekend. LBI Fishing Club's 69th Annual World Series of Surf fishing tournament. They are going on. I talked to Bob Burstein uh, earlier this week and he said they're running the tournament no matter what. So if you want to wet a line and do it contest wise, go over to um, the Harvey Cedars location, the LBI Fishing Club. They have registration Saturday morning, 5.30 a.m. Good opportunity for you. And on Sunday, September 27th, you might want to go uh, check out Grumpy's in Seaside. He's got Ron Leva and the crew from Shimano, Shimano Long Cast Rods. That's uh, from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at Grumpy's Bait and Tackle in Seaside. Look, east, northeast winds, a lot of boaters aren't gonna turn their attention to going out and doing anything, but the surf is going to be alive and we're anxious to find out what happens after this blow comes through. So catch them up this weekend, do the best you can and enjoy yourself. Check in with us again next week at thefisherman.com and don't forget, Make sure you're subscribing to The Fisherman Magazine because that's the only way you're going to get those weekly editions in between the monthlies that you'll find for sale at your local tackle shop. Catch them up, my friends. We'll see you next week. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to The Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.